20 feet, 8 inches, roughly 3,200 pounds, slideless but can sleep five people. I am excited to introduce you to your next off-the-grid, awesome, home, modern, rustic Rockwood Geo Pro 19BH. Let's go check it out. The Rockwood difference. What makes a Rockwood difference? What makes it different? The Geo Pros. Take a look at all this. This is great. We walked into this 19BH and this was sitting right here. You got double-sided Asdale construction. What does that mean? You got Asdale on both sides, not just the exterior. Really helps with that moisture barrier. Six-sided full aluminum frame, truss roof, automotive glass windshield, double 20-pound LP tanks, stabilizer jacks, four of them mounted to the frame, power tongue jack, 13.5 BTU AC. Let me tell you, the Rockwood Geo Pros take like arch ceilings, everything. They take what you expect in those high-end luxury RVs and they pack it into a rugged 4x4 luxury mini RV. I'm a fan of these. I rarely get a chance to hop in them, so I'm really excited about this 19BH. Let's talk about some of the features you're going to find in this beauty. For example, over here in our campsite kitchen, you got the dry-in rack that goes over the large square stainless steel sink with the high-rise faucet, large window right here on the campsite so you can check out what's going on all being brightly lit by these mushroom led lights now what's cool about this is there's a 190 watt solar panel on the roof of this puppy with a 1000 watt inverter what does that mean we could power the lights we could power the awning we could power the fridge all from the solar panel you even have right here to let you know how everything's doing. How's my battery doing? Are we charging? Are we going? How much juice do we have? What's coming in for the solar panel? We got a little USB charger there. Rockwood gives you the features and functionality that when you go off the grid, you can stay in comfort and style and security. Big fan. Shaker style cabinets here, solid construction with that brushed nickel features over here on my pull tabs. Hood over my three burner suburban cooktop. Now I'm used to seeing the two burner in RVs this size. You only talk about 20 feet, eight inches, but right here is your three burner cooktop with the glass cover, giving you some additional prep space. Not only that, you got your little pull out for your cleaning or as me, I like to put my fishing lures in there, bottle opener, because why not? Solid wood construction, full extension on the ball bearing drives here, a little storage there plus a little open stowaway. I like to, you know, that's, that's a good grab and go spot. If you ask me if you need to put your bag somewhere, that right there is a good spot. You got the single dinette right here, which is a two seater. I mean, probably a four seater if you bring the kids because this RV will sleep five, but you got single over single bunks, which we'll get to here in a minute. This does reduce down into a sleeper. Plus you got the roll shades for privacy with the white backing. Why is that important? Well, the white is going to reflect the sun. It's not going to absorb the heat like the ones that have the black backing on, which come standard in most RVs. Forest River gave you a nice little upgrade here. Plus you got the decorative wood balance with the inlay, more storage compartment above your dinette. I like my little roof mounted Coleman Mach 13.5 BTU AC, 20,000 BTU furnace over here. Queen size bed nestled in the front cap with Roller shade, pop-up power station, suspension netting on my storage lip up front, my IRV Technologies, AM FM Command Center, plus you got the little mini Furion 32-inch TV right there on a swivel. You do have the Wi-Fi Ranger, the Teton, which is pre-set up for 4G LTE extension. Look at the carpeted side that we have here, the top. That, to me, it's... Here's why I wanted to point that out. Most of the time, you just got a piece of plywood underneath the RV. They took the extra step of covering that up. You want some storage underneath your bed? You got it. Pull out drawers. Once again, full extension on those ball bearing drives. Upgraded, slip resistant, easy to clean linoleum all the way throughout. One piece. Flush mounted Magic Chef microwave back here in the rear campsite of my kitchen. Plus, you got the Magic Chef little mini fridge. Well, look at how cute it is. We'll sit right here. You got your controls for this 12 volt fridge right here. So if you want to make it cooler or hotter, you can. 
I guess less cold. Plus you got the travel lock right there. Now let's get to the gravy of the 19BH, the bunkhouse. You'll see, Bobby, you might have to squeeze around me to get to it. 110 and dual USB charging ports right there. Large window with the pull shade. Most of the time in bunk RVs, the window on the bunks usually are like those little curtains. They don't even really block a lot of the sunlight. This one, you got the roll shade. Plus, you got the plush and comfortable three inch thick premium mattress right there. Same thing on the bottom here. You notice there's my ladder because we have an escape hatch to either let the kids get into the bunk room from the outside or this lifts up so you can use it for additional storage, bikes, luggage, whatever. And of course you got storage room underneath with hideaway hinges. It's not just a piece of plywood laying there with a hole in it that you lift up and pull out. You actually have storage there like the storage doors under our booth dinettes as well. Decorative solid door lead me into the bathroom where I have a high rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush. I got the corner mounted storage shelf with toothbrush holes and a cup hole. I like that, that's kind of cool. You got the wet bath right here. Um, oh, and they installed shower miser on here too. What that does is it helps control the water flow. You'll see down here, it actually gives you more water pressure without using less, without using more water. Shower sprayer, wet bath sink, inlay, shower and tub surround. Now being six foot two, my head is pressed against the glass. And since it's covering up most of my seven, eight, nine head, this is probably the most attractive I'll ever look. So Bob, still picture. There we go. More storage there. Plus max vent fan right up here. Multi-blade. We got the mirror right there, as well as another GFCI outlet. And duct work for our 20,000 BTU furnace that's in this bad boy. Gotta tell you, man. There's our controls for it as well. The Rockwood Geo Pro, if you want luxury, convenience, and style while you're off the grid, this is the way to go. So we've seen the inside of the 19BH now. Let's go take a look at the outside. So here we are on the outside of the all new Geo Pro by Rockwood 19BH. Let's start right up front. Automotive coating on this fiberglass front cap with the privacy window right there, right over the master bed. Imagine how awesome it would be to be sitting on that bed looking at the sunrise, the sunset, you know, the moon over the beach, the mountains, whatever, and not having people be able to see what's going on on the inside because it's privacy window. LED running lights, diamond plated rock guard, a rail right here for our double coach batteries. Plus we got the twin 20 pound LP tanks. And since it is Geo Pro, you're gonna get the Lippert powered tongue jack and four stabilizer jacks that are mounted to the frame with that enclosed underbelly with the thermostat controlled heating pads, the 12 volt heating pads on our tanks. Nice. Magnetic anti-slam doors on our pass-through storage right here, which you see is finished off. This is the griddle and the mounting plate that comes with your Geo Pro. 10 amp quick connect for your solar panel. If you wanna plug that in, trickle charge your battery. You do have a 190 watt solar panel up there with the 1000 watt inverter on it. So you do have that going for you. Just having that additional solar prep is nice to keep the battery going, especially with the 12 volt, the power awning, the lights. You wanna make sure that battery doesn't, dr you know, doesn't dry off on you when you go off camping. You do have the Solera powered awning here with the LED light strip, manual override, solid Moride steps leading into the main entry with the extra large grab handle, the frameless 10 inch safety windows all the way around this RV2. Plus you got those radial off-road tires, Tire pressure monitoring system to nitro field with those torsion controlled axles. Love it. Off-road, rugged, with that extra high clearance to get you where you want to go. Power, plus you got the LP quick connect back there. Black tank flush here. I mean, we got insulation, six frame aluminum sided, radiant foil barrier on the front. I mean, just great and ready for the elements. Plus, look at those arch ceilings doing a really good job of keeping the, the ice, the rain, off the top of this RV, nozzles making sure it doesn't fall on you. Backup camera prep, solid ladder mounted over the top. Right here, the escape hatch. This is what I was talking about, man. And look, look how plush and comfortable this mattress is. If the ladder wouldn't have been down here, I would have laid on that thing. So just a little, you can access this from the outside if you need to. You do have the little stopper here, you know, for the, 
for the door so you can load your bikes in here or if the kids want to come climb into the bunks this way they can you just got to move the mattress when you do lock it up or move the ladder more importantly even got a privacy window and did you see where the bottom of the bunk is finished like the paneling of the rest of the rv that's somebody that said we're going to take a few extra steps to give you a nice coach Right down here, you got your main terminations. You'll see you got your gray tank and your black tank. You got a 31 gallon fresh and dual 30s, 30 gallon gray, 30 gallon black. For a, a coach that's only 20 feet, eight inches, that's good tank sizes. Just giving you a heads up there. 30 amp plug right here. External shower with hot and cold. City water connection. Antifreeze inlet, very nice. And you got your fresh water fill as well as the back of your hot water heater and the other side of your pass-through storage with your docking light control. The most important part though of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see exactly how much this coach weighs. Now the gross vehicle weight on this one is 4425. The dry weight on this one, you are looking at 3209. So you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World or Gander, and you say, hey, 20 feet, eight inches, can sleep five, I really just need something that's rugged, gonna go off road where we can just lay our head down at night, but I still want a few creature comforts and some upgraded safety features like solar panel, like torsion control axle, like the charger, like the heated tanks, like everything you're gonna get with the Rockwood Geo Pro. And then they just say, okay, here's the paperwork for your Rockwood Geo Pro. Would you like the keys now or would you like them in 45 minutes after you've had a snack? Let me tell you. If that's what you've been looking for, this Geo Pro should be at the top of your list. It might be at the top of my list. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and get my truck and hook up to this one. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you liked it, what you didn't like. We love hearing from you. Please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. Until next time, I'm Chris Young, Camping World of Gander. Excuse me, I'm going to go get the keys for my RV. I'll see you all later.